If you've been chatting with ChatGPT lately, you may have noticed something seems a little off. The answers seem dull, shorter than they once were, and some are straight up irrelevant. So what's changed? Is AI getting dumber as time goes on? Or is something more complex going on? The answer actually lies in a phenomenon called AI drift. This is when an AI model's accuracy and functionalities fluctuate over time. Today, we'll explore why this happens, how it's impacting ChatGPT, and what's being done by devs to keep AI progress on track. Before we dive into today's video, we've launched a newsletter focusing on all of the latest news in AI. And as a special bonus to early subscribers, we're giving access to a free ChatGPT course. Stick around till the end to find out more. Let's jump in. So, what is AI drift? The concept of drift tells us that AI systems do not always keep improving as more data is fed into them. Their accuracy and behavior can fluctuate in ways that deviate away from the original programming. This goes against the intuitive assumption that AI just keeps getting smarter and smarter over time. This is simply not the case in reality. In a study conducted by researchers at UC Berkeley and Stanford University, these drifts have been tracked by evaluating different versions of ChatGPT over several months. They tested the AI on math problems, sensitive questions, code generation, and visual reasoning to get a broad view on how the different versions performed. The results revealed obvious declines in performance in certain areas. For example, GPT-4, the latest ChatGPT model, is only identifying prime numbers 2.4% of the time, when back in March it was getting this right 97.6% of the time. Its responses also became much shorter, with the average length dropping from over 800 characters to less than 4 characters over the 3 month period the tests were running. GPT-4's ability to generate executable code also decreased from 52% to 10%, which is a huge margin, and it even declined to respond to sensitive questions, with the response rate dropping from 95% down to just 5%. Researchers have speculated that these fluctuations could be due to drift in the chain of thought reasoning used for mathematical tasks. In March, GPT-4 carefully stepped through the logic to solve problems. By June, it simply outputted a blunt no without explanation, indicating a problem with the problem-solving processing. The study shows that AI performance isn't on a steady upward trajectory. Even as technology in the field advances, its capabilities can vary in unexpected ways over short time spans. Drifts can also be both positive and negative. Some improvements were observed in visual reasoning match rates, for example. However, the declines are concerning, especially in critical applications like mathematical calculations, which was something people were drawn in by when ChatGPT launched. We expect AI systems to consistently build on their knowledge, so this news comes as a surprise to many. In real life, this drift pattern would be like a college professor gaining more information in their specialist subject, but at the same time getting worse at locating their car keys or glasses. Contrary to popular belief, AI doesn't just keep getting more intelligent and powerful over time. Progress has its fits and starts. While AI holds enormous promise, we cannot take for granted that its development will be linear and there won't be any bumps in the road. So what is causing this weird phenomenon? The reasons are many, but a few key factors stand out. One issue is the training data that these AI systems learn from. The data might contain biases, inaccuracies, or gaps in coverage. As the model absorbs flawed data, it incorporates those weaknesses into its knowledge base and reasoning. Just like humans, an AI is shaped by the sources it learns from. Cleaning the training data is vital, but also very challenging at the massive scale required for AI language models. Another factor is that constant updates to improve the AI model can cause unintended side effects. The AI architecture is exceptionally complex with billions of parameters. When engineers tweak parts of the code to boost specific capabilities, it risks harming other parts of the system. The interconnected nature of AI makes it hard to isolate single components. Priorities and objectives set for the AI can also shift over time, impacting its behavior and performance. For example, ChatGPT may have been updated to favor simple answers over detailed explanations out of caution about providing misinformation and trying to minimize errors by keeping things simple. Whilst keeping answers shorter would obviously help in that department, it'd negatively affect its ability to solve math problems thoroughly. Developers have a fine balance to try and maintain. Researchers also highlighted how fragile the current training techniques are, like reinforcement learning from human feedback. As AI grows to become more advanced at an astonishing pace, it becomes harder for human trainers to properly evaluate the system and reinforce the desired learning processes. As AI advances, the training techniques we use to help it grow 
need to change too. Techniques that were once effective to improve learning and ability can simply stop working as the AI gets more and more intelligent and complex. Keeping humans in the loop for training is a challenge that's set to grow more and more tricky for developers as time progresses. So, there are issues with AI drift, many causes for it, and a few limitations on how it can be fixed. But what is being done to help ChatGPT get over its recent slump? One of the main challenges is the lack of public transparency about the inner workings of models like ChatGPT. OpenAI declined to publicly share code for GPT-4 despite releasing a 98-page technical paper on it. Without visibility into training data and model architecture, it's exceedingly difficult to diagnose the root causes of drift and unintended behaviors by anyone outside of OpenAI. The priority now is bringing in solid processes to identify when AI drift happens so corrective actions can be taken. This phenomenon reveals that AI systems are far from flawless or all-knowing. Accountability and precaution must be taken to ensure AI fulfills its promise to benefit humanity. We're still in the early stages of harnessing its potential and we need to learn how to help AI develop to get it where we imagine it can be in the future. To counteract the risks of AI drift, researchers are pursuing strategies to keep systems aligned with human values as they continue to rapidly advance. The leading effort comes from OpenAI's super alignment team. Their goal is to cultivate AI that resonates with our intentions, emotions, and societal principles. Like a gardener growing a healthy plant, pruning of unhealthy branches will be needed in order to make AI develop the way it's intended. The super alignment team views their mission as ensuring AI's development benefits humanity. This goes beyond just preventing models like ChatGPT from declining in performance. It's about making sure that the AI grows in sync with human values. That means designing systems capable of understanding cultural nuances, ethics and principles that defy hard coding. One focus is on improving the training process to keep drift to a minimum. As I mentioned earlier, the current reinforcement learning methods rely too heavily on human feedback to evaluate increasingly capable AI. And this just isn't sustainable long term, as it's far too much work for humans to keep up with. OpenAI is now developing scalable oversight, where AI systems help provide training signals to each other while still maintaining human involvement. This technique leverages both human and AI capabilities for oversight. The collaborative approach aims to reduce gaps in evaluation that can lead models to drift from desired behaviors. Another priority is monitoring systems to detect drift early before it escalates and becomes a real problem. This means identifying ineffective training data or flawed updates to the model architecture. Rapid action can then be taken to correct the course and stop the problem at the source. The overall objective is to create a harmonious collaboration between humans and AI. This requires advancing AI to be sensitive to human needs and intentions. ChatGPT's flaws reveal how far we still have to go in that vision. In summary, we now see that progress in AI capabilities will be non-linear. And whilst that was theorized before, with this data on the AI drift taking place with the GPT model, it's now proven fact. Phenomena like drift are to be expected given the technology's infancy and complexity. However, continuous feedback loops between users, researchers, and the AI systems themselves can help identify concerns as they emerge. Realistic expectations must be set that the path ahead will have ups and downs. AI drift serves as an important reminder of that fact. As capabilities expand, ethical application and human oversight will remain imperative, but this may have side effects too. The future promises profound change, but values and wisdom must guide the journey. And that wraps up our deep dive into the phenomenon of AI drift and its emergence in models like ChatGPT. Stay tuned to Tectonic Shift as we continue exploring the latest developments in artificial intelligence. If you made it to the end, we're about to launch a new newsletter. The weekly newsletter covers all the new and exciting things happening in AI and highlights the latest tools and plugins we hear about. As a major bonus, those who sign up today before we launch will get a five-part mini AI chatbot prompting course. We've been using AI since before it came out publicly and have learned through trial and error the most effective ways to prompt. By using our methods and secrets, you can become 32 times more effective at prompting and getting the result you want. Check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.